To me, you know, creativity is really nothing more than a combination of more than one idea connected in an unusual way. Creative people, they just have a knack for connecting this and that, they put it together and it catalyzes it to something different. When I was approached with Four Stories, uh, I was curious and interested because I'm always up for a challenge, I'm up for an adventure, and I'm up for an opportunity to do something I haven't done before. We have Intel and the Ultrabook, we have the W Hotels, putting their weight behind new talent, young people. So to be part of judging a contest where there's gonna be fresh voices, I'm excited to be part of it. So I'm just interested in all the ingredients that go into filmmaking, music, writing, optics, science. So many fields that appeal to me are involved in filmmaking, and I just tend to follow my curiosity. We're here at the Director's Bureau, our special project studio. Special Projects is the name that we have given all our idea making that falls outside of typical commercial production or music video production. We're uh, much more than filmmakers, we're idea people that are standing by to turn needs into concepts. Duffy is my close colleague and I cook up ideas and just try to express them as best we can with whatever means we have. My name is Duffy Culligan. I'm head of special projects at the Directors Bureau. We are a little bit different because we come from a production background. Using the top production designers, photographers, illustrators, and we use that same toolbox to solve non-production problems. We try to put a narrative on the user experience. A lot of the projects are designed for prototypical thinking. Like, it is the equivalent of a concept car for an automobile company. I was approached by a friend who is a car designer, and he asked me, well, if you could design a car, what would it be? And so I said, well, it would be a, a sports limo. And it's, you know, it's a 200 mile an hour limousine with three seats in the back, so you can be in the center with two babes and go where you're going very quickly and very sleekly. This is also a great example of just how we like to present the ideas. Obviously, you can just do a sketch of an idea, but it's, it's much more fun to render it out and make it seem like he's really leaning against it. We don't actually have a sports limo of any kind. Just a regular limo, you know. <laughs> I do love design. I have a secret fantasy that I'll have a chapter of my life as an industrial designer. I have a particular point of view that has a sense of playfulness and fun. One of the ideas was an amusement park ride. People love to be thrilled and scared on rides, that's the whole point. So what's more scary than going down in a jumbo jet? Here's a design for, for Roman's Mayday ride, which is a plane crash simulator where you start off in the clouds, have a horrifying plunge into a tank of water, and then you get to slide off. Totally terrifying experience. I'm not even sure if I'd be up for it. I'm interested in technology very much. I admire it, but I'm trying to keep it in check and actually Duff and I are working on some ideas of how to streamline uh, people's interface with technology. Roman obviously loves technology so much that he created a robot version of himself so he could travel to meetings without actually having to travel to meetings. You know, the ultimate use of technology. It's, it's a presentation mode that's not just to avoid going to meetings, it's to also just prove our own little case study. If you think about something a little differently, you can actually get more attention. There is a certain satisfaction when you can express an idea very clearly, whether it's an image or a written description. However, when someone does invite you to realize something, then it's a really extraordinary pleasure.